I, I, okay, so if you've ever heard of, you know, Caesar Milan, the dog yes, whisperer? Yes, yes. <laughs> the cat version <laughs> is called My Cat from Hell. And it stars a man who goes by the name of Jackson Galaxy. And he does this because by night, he is a rock and roll musician who is not good. Um, but as far as being a cat whisperer, he's pretty good at it. He's amazing. Like, literally what he does is, is he comes into... Okay, every single episode, this is how it goes. Our cat is attacking people. He's being awful. Jackson Galaxy comes in, chides him for calling their cat awful, and yeah. says, you're the problem. You're it's the reason so why. You're the reason why your cat is acting like this. You need to... You need to catify your home, oh, yeah, that's yeah. what he says. He basically forces them yeah. He forces them to build what he calls a cat superhighway, which is like <laughs> tons and tons of like fucking platforms all over the house that's all interconnected so that they can fucking go like all over the house. And like if there's a room where it's like, we don't want them to be able to go there. He's like, no, 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 no. He's going to go there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can we just, can we, yeah, can we just take awful, a little like... moment to appreciate that fucking jason galaxy was his name that's the best stage name i've heard since jackson jackson, jackson, jackson galaxy. galaxy that's even better jackson <laughs> galaxy that is the best fucking stage name i've heard since max power that's fucking amazing. epic <laughs> and okay if you can imagine what his music sounds it like it doesn't sound like that you know what his music sounds like, like oh. no it does it sounds exactly like it. amazing <laughs> it's you if you understand that jackson galaxy is a not great rock musician you understand what he sounds like. He did the My Cat from Hell theme song, uh, which is, it's literally like a, this goofy guitar riff. Like, it's not good. It's just fast. And he's going, My Cat from Hell! My Cat from Hell! My Cat from also, Hell! Okay, also, what I find funny is, like, whenever he's going in to see a violent cat, like, he, like, will, like, kind of, like, torment it for a bit to try and get it to attack him. And, like, his his... Like his mental, his, uh, thought process. his thought process is that he's basically he's testing their boundaries to yeah. see like where, where like what what triggers them. But basically, for like a full five minutes, he's basically just like annoying, getting them. like bled and like <laughs> yeah, they attack and she, like, He'll walk out of these houses with like cuts just right down, and then it, he like, starts and, crying. Yeah, often. he'll cry. He's like, yeah. this cat is clearly in pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like when they like okay, when he can't determine that there's like a normal thing for it, it's just automatically we put this cat on some medication. <laughs> like, and he gets to talking about how the cat he can't even interpret the world around him. It's he terrible. needs to go on Prozac. <laughs> yeah, no, but um, th there was one. Th no, they literally put the cats on mental medication a lot of the time. They do whenever was, he can't identify a real that? issue. What was that episode where I think we need this guy for Naboo because no. yeah he's been a bit yeah. off lately <laughs> like he's been because we've been trying to keep him in, Jake is the parent that's like in denial and I'm the parent that like isn't afraid to face the truth no. in this situation. Yeah. Our cat, our cat has problems. He's because we've been trying to keep him inside more, and because you know, of coronavirus, and like he's been like scatting out, like smashing things, just like screaming. He he doesn't cry. He just screams. <laughs> like he'll just stand there and scream. Like he's possessed oh. by the devil. And like he the other day, it was like it was like a. <laughs> This literally sounds like the testimonials <laughs> at the beginning of the show. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not even joking. If you watch an episode of this show, you're going to be like, oh my God. We need Jackson Superstar. <laughs> I said that, like, you're using the same tone. You're using this. You called him possessed, which is something that is very often said by these cat owners. <laughs> cats are, like, generally weird, but our cats, like, another like level of like weird in his behaviors and stuff and like he does this scary thing at night where he'll stand by the door and look outside it as if there's someone out there and i'm like I, i'm like what is there someone are we gonna be robbed are we being murdered like what the fuck's going on it's that's your cats. own anxiety that you're projecting onto our cat no, all right I think he's got he's, issues he doesn't have any <laughs> issues or there's another cat in the area that's they gonna be that. the main line of 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 it, ad, ad, advice from Jackson Galaxy with that kind of a behavior. <laughs> it's going to be that there's other cats in the areas that are causing oh, anxiety. Oh, but that's the thing. The only other cat 
is a girl cat called Nala and she completely like she she like dommed she dommed the shit out of Naboo. She just walked through That's it. Do you understand okay, you understand why he looks at, at the door like that now. That's it's it's that because other she cat. She literally yeah. walked in. She walked in through the fucking window that he comes through, came in, she was like giving mm-hmm. me and Jake mm-hmm. kisses, rubbing herself all over like um her our stuff to get the scent. She yeah, was she was claiming, claiming everything. You. And he can't he hates the idea. Hates the yeah, idea of that. But she's like tiny. And she's tiny territory. though. And he's scared of her. Is it because it's a girl cat? I don't know. Because he was being a he was being a little cuck. <laughs> no, it's just that it's another cat. It's, it's no, another if it was cat, a boy cat, because he's really nothing. no, he's really vicious to boy cats. Like he every because our our old roommate had oh, a boy cat. Girl cats. So he's very yeah. chivalrous about it, but he's upset that well, our, this our person, ex-roommate this had a, a, a cat and it was a boy cat, and Nabu would just be like, "Come here, you little bitch." <laughs> like, <laughs> but, <in Peter. laughs> but whenever this, she's a little tiny girl cat, really cute, some like something out of Studio Ghibli called Nala, and she just comes in, starts rubbing herself all over me and Jake, all over all of Nabu's stuff, and he just stands there like a simp in the corner, <laughs> just like, "What is happening what color right is now?" She? She's she's jet black and. Naboo's a tuxedo cat so like once she was eating his food and I turned around when I was cooking once and thought it was just Naboo and then I looked again and I was like what the fuck that's not my cat <laughs> <laughs> is that why he's stressed out because another cat has come to like yeah it's the other cat yeah. like the other the actions that you described by the other cat I promise you would be the that, primary okay, thing we've that watched, Jackson Galaxy we've would watched so on. much Jackson Galaxy that we know for sure like all this cat issues and like if if yes, they we're ever, licensed cat like if, is if now. they ever tell them that a cat has been in the house that like invaded he's his done space, with everything else he's like yep that's it that's it. that's the thing <laughs> he will not focus on another thing unless it's like weeks later he comes back for a check in what I like is that even when the cats are like completely destroying someone's life if they're like I've considered rehoming the cat he's like <gasps> he's like no <laughs> you never do that you don't you give up what? on a cat. <laughs> <laughs> when people give up on cats. Yeah, he starts, he crying. starts crying. Oh my god. Oh my god. He cries all the time. Like there's so much Jackson Galaxy crying, you can basically rely on Oh that my he god. Will cry. We had to give up on two cats. Like we they're in a happy place. That, that you can't we had, do that. It was when we were, cool. in, we were we were silly uni students, and we were like, "Yeah, let's just get a bunch you of cats." We were just like, "Oh, let's get a cat each. Let's yeah. get a cat each." Yeah, we we got a cat each. So I had like a little little Athena. Ka- Kami had Rafi, and Jake had um, uh, Nabu, and it was like living in a zoo, basically, like three cats screaming for food in the morning, three cats shitting everywhere. It was just like insane. And then um, and then we had to give up Rafi and Athena when we graduated uni because we didn't have a place and we didn't know where we were going to live. And like having three cats and trying to rent is like not a good idea. So we had to go and we had to like rehouse them. <laughs> so what? how did you choose which cat to keep? Well, was it like a N- Sophie's Naboo choice? Naboo was the OG. We'd already had Naboo for a year. So Naboo wasn't going anywhere. Okay. And then they decided that they were going to get two cats, <laughs> even though Cammy was going to be moving back to America within 12 months. And you don't have never owned a pet on your own in your life and are not exactly the best with Naboo as it is. I am good with Naboo. So... How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> so... I think that Jackson Galaxy would probably focus yeah, on Angie. I, it what? Like. She's, a bit, she's a bit paranoid. <laughs> like, I want to defend Naboo for a little minute here. Because Naboo is oh, the he'll, sweetest okay, little bear. Okay, if you start getting into the defensiveness, though, he will start going oh. in on you. Yeah, the problem is... You can't give him excuses. Is, if he's not, hurting yeah, that's people... What, that's what happens. <laughs> Naboo does hurt... Like, I'm the disciplined parent. And Jake is just like, no matter what Naboo does, he's a lovely boy. Like, I'm going to give him kisses. Jake reinforces all of Naboo's bad behavior. And whenever I'm like, no, Naboo, don't do that. That's naughty. Don't do that. Jake's like, oh my God, that's cat abuse. You shouldn't be yelling. So this is what it would be like if we had a kid. It would just be getting mixed messages. Oh my God. You, I, I am going to contact this show on your behalf. Because I, I want him to stroll up to your fucking house and do this. And see, oh, you know, he'll, it's a goal he would of see, mine. See, like, loads of people come around and like Naboo just like run, runs under the bed and like hides. He doesn't want to see them. And they're like, oh my God, what have you done to your cat? I'm like, he's, he's always been this way since he was little. But I think it's because we've moved house a lot as well because that cats don't like their shit being mm-hmm. like moved around 
and because we've mo- yeah because no. we've moved a lot he's kind of a bit traumatized because of that as well which is sad but you know that's another thing that he would talk to you about because he there's a lot of the cats that have moved yeah he's pretty chill and i think in a in a few years when i've got my boat he's going to be happy on that as well and everyone's going to be chilling oh it's going to be great oh my- He'll be up on top of the boat whilst I'm driving along. There's a little face like, mm, all in the sunshine. It'll be great. 